Hi guys and welcome back to Alternative Inverts. Welcome to everybody that's new and welcome back to everybody who has been here before. So today we are going to be taking a look at a parcel that we have received. You may know exactly what I've got in here. It is keeper card stuff. So we'll be taking a look into that, seeing what we've got inside, what the package includes and if you haven't got them already, where you can get yours. I also want to be giving a huge shout out to some of our new channel members and also saying a massive thank you to another YouTube channel at the end of the video. So please make sure you stay for that and show some love. Uh, also, we will be giving you an update in regards to our egg sacks. Now we have some really, really good news. And again, we have some bad news, which always seems to be the case with breeding. It's never all good news. As you know, we had a Sauriopagopus lividus uh, female drop us an egg sac uh, after we'd rehoused her to try and condition her to drop. Now that egg sac was doing absolutely fine up until a few days before it needed to be pulled and she then decided she wanted to eat it. So I did actually manage to find some of the egg sac that was left. There were still eggs inside however none of them were salvageable. The egg sac was all mushed. There was it was just no, there was no way I was going to be able to save any of the eggs from the egg sack. So, unfortunately, we have lost that one. I did try to get some footage, but because I wasn't recording when I checked on her, I put the egg sack back. I've gone back to get my camera and stuff like that um, a couple of hours later, and she's just ate it completely. So, there is no way of me showing you. This is the tub that we'd conditioned her in to drop her egg sack as you may have seen in one of the previous videos. Now she has actually excavated down and across so I can't get underneath to where she is um, to see if there was any more remains of it until I get her out and put her back into a permanent enclosure where we will be then looking for another male uh, and trying to breed her again as it is a species I do want to do successfully. But where there's bad news there is also good news. As some of my channel members may be aware, we have recently found a Monocentropus balfouri egg sac from one of the two females that we paired up. Now we paired both of our females on the 28th of January and also on the 1st of February after our two males made fresh sperm webs. Now our one female who went with mature male big Decided she wanted to drop her egg sac on the 9th of March. So we do have a Balfouri egg sac, which has been uh, around for nearly a month now. And we're over the moon. I've always said I'll keep the communal, as you know, once I've done my own breeding. So I will be, hopefully, providing these uh, successful, be keeping a small communal myself. And then distributing some, and I may also put a communal up for grabs as well to one of you lucky subscribers. Let's quickly see if I can try and show you the egg sac. Um, obviously it is under the burrow and they do make a static egg sac. And I've got some interesting things that I want to tell you about this after I've shown you this little bit of footage also. As you can see the female is in there and she is just slightly on the egg sac. Now the egg sac comes, it's that big ball there basically of dirt and web right there and it looks quite a pretty decent size and she's just at the side of it at the moment. Now, what's strange with this, and I'd never seen this before, but after speaking to a few people, so I spoke to Gar at ArachnoTube, uh, and also Keith from Raggedy says that he's had something similar recently happen as well. That egg sac looked completely different and wasn't in that position yesterday. 
the egg sac was actually right at the front of the burrow when you first end go into the entrance. It was actually right down there. And you can also almost see where she scraped it all away. Now, obviously, as I've just shown you, the egg sac is no longer there. Uh, overnight, she has excavated her burrow loads, kicked a load more substrate up here, up the front and over at the back of her enclosure, and she's taken down her static egg sac and she's moved it and hammocked it back up over the other side of the burrow. Um, now, I'd never seen this before at first when I come to check on her and I saw that the there was a load more dirt kicked out. Obviously, I looked to see if I could see the egg sac and it had gone. I thought, oh, she's ate it again because she ate her previous egg sac uh, when it was roughly due to hatch. After speaking to those guys, they said that it could be um, the conditions might be slightly better over there on the other side of a burrow or, or whatever. So she's decided to just move it which fair enough that sound as you could see just she was walking around and slightly massaging the egg sac so i mean that's a good sign i'm just going to leave this girl be um, but i thought it's important to show you guys so we have got another egg sac we have lost one but we have gained another um, which is awesome because i do want to breed these you can't win them all it is a case of just keep trying so the lividus will be paired again our ceratogyrus marshalli that we've paired is also looking super fat so fingers crossed we get something from our marshalli soon enough too lots and lots and lots going on here that's not mold either by the way it's sand just in case you thought Ooh. enough about egg sacs and let's see what we have from keeper cards and what you can expect if you are to purchase these so we've got this from Danny and we went for I can't remember which Kickstarter pack we went for now uh, but I think it was roughly 70 quid for the Kickstarter pack first of all you get a thank you letter for joining and supporting Kickstarter awesome keeper cards sticker the big the bad and the bold that is the expansion and the original pack was these keep cards so this is the second pack that has been released you get a keeper cards magnet which can go on your fridge or whatever you want it to go on like so Woo. you get some keep guards badges I'm gonna stop saying the word keep cards now because otherwise it's gonna get very repetitive you get a tea towel or you can hang this up on like your wall or something as a tapestry um, it tells you how to make the perfect English cup of tea so if you're not English or British and you do want to make a, br make a British brew step-by-step -step instructions and this is a a towel or like say a tapestry and it has all of the tarantula anatomy on it as well so uh, if you do want to learn it gives you the name of each part of a tarantula from both the ventral view or the dorsal view. Rather than having this as a tea towel, I probably will keep it on my wall because I just think it looks pretty cool. So that'll probably go up on my desk area behind you guys. You get a wristband, which is sort of like the ones that we've got for our channel. And if you look, they're pretty cool. Keepers, creepers. Tarantula Addict for life That is definitely us So thank you And we'll put this on Whoop whoop In the pack that we also uh, got We got the additional binder Now this can be kept uh, To keep some of your Keeper cards in And you also get a few binders in there as well 
Uh, so if you want to separate your cards off, you can. You can separate them into new worlds, old worlds, information cards, which I'll touch on a little bit more in a second. And also the tarantulas that you have within your collection. So as you purchase more tarantulas, you can shift them around and put them into your area. And it looks awesome, the quality and everything is brilliant. Um, so yeah, you can keep them all in, rather than having the little tubs or hanging them up like I have, you can keep all of your cards in the folder, keep it on your desk or in your invert room or your bedroom or wherever you want to. And it's just easy access to flick through. Find the tarantula you want to rehouse or you want information from and uh, take a look there. So, we'll get rid of that. You also get a Keepers Creepers t-shirt, which again is cool. Now onto the cards themselves. So these cards are additional cards uh, for Kickstarter. So these are the exclusives. And one of them is the Salma Pears Victory. And these are shiny cards as well. Ooh, like Pokemon cards, shinies are always the best. Uh, this is the Salma Pears Victory. which common name for that is the Mexican half and half tarantula. I'm pretty rubbish with common names, so I have to look. Sorry. Uh, this is the Andrew Smith um, Kickstarter holographic pack. So there were two cards in here. Now, for those who know Andrew Smith or don't know who Andrew Smith is, he's loved tarantulas on uh, YouTube. He's done a few awesome documentaries on Bracky Palma, Lassiodora and he's currently working on one for Poclotheria in India as well. His two cards are the Poclotheria, oh, I'm gonna butcher this completely, Poclotheria Hanuma, Hanuma, Villamus, Hanuma Villamusu, <laughs> oh, I can't see you. Poclotheria Hanuma Villasumica, that's as best you get in, sorry guys, which he actually found himself and described. And also, you can't see it because it's behind the other card, but it is the uh, Brachypelma Bumgartnoi, which Andrew Smith also found and described. So they look awesome. You can see the Poclotheria one there. The Poclotheria Hanuma Villasumica. <laughs> and then the last card is the other Kickstarter exclusive card. This is the Haplaclastus devamata, which is commonly known as the LSD Earth Tiger, or it's also the Polychromatic Earth Tiger, um, which I hadn't heard before. I only ever known it as the LSD Earth Tiger, but it is Polychromatic Earth Tiger, which we actually have one of our photos, all turned to the invert, Kieran Brown, boom, as one of the uh, images that is actually our image right there and we've been credited on the card too so thank you Danny for that that's awesome now on to the main pack so you get your box you've got a lovely bag woo, which have all been handmade by Danny and his partner um, they've done an absolutely cracking job with these they look awesome Once it's out it's pack, you then get a nice fancy box, which is similar to the other keeper card pack. Inside, you get your keeper card, uh, like thank you card basically, and where you can find them. So it's a thank you for sort of supporting them. And then there is the information and where you can find them on different social media platforms. If you want to scan that code, it'll take you to the website, pause the screen and give it a scan, if that works. Let's jump down. We'll take a quick look at some of these cards. Um, enough of my ugly mug because this video pretty much has just been talking. So let's dive down and show you a couple of these quickly. So again, here's the official expansion pack 
booklet that comes with the cards and inside there's a massive shout out to different YouTubers who have supported this pack. Woo! There is us. Alternative inverts. Woo! And Craig. And Jaden. And Amy. And the TTSNT. And all of these other awesome channels. Tarantula Haven. Dark Den. Princess Selfie Pink. Bug Realms. Deadly Tarantula Girl. Tarantula Dan. And everybody else that I have missed Rocky Mountain Sprider Freaks whoop, whoop. and everybody down here as well so they've had some huge support and uh, Danny has also given a good shout out to everybody for that support too uh, and then a special thanks to uh, I'm guessing these are people who have helped with the project or passed on pictures for some of the cards um, again we're just on there Kim Brent. Cards, great quality. You get different information cards, so you get the Tarantula History, you get a card from Andrew Smith, a card about Tarantula Molting and how it happens and why, and signs of it happening. Uh, substrate frustration, so this is about how to keep different uh, species. So how you'd keep an arboreal, how you keep a saurial, terrestrial, and what different substrates you can use to keep them too. And clean up crew like springtails, uh, some brain crickets, and then you come onto your tarantulas. So I'm just going to quickly flip through these because if you buy them, you're going to want to see them yourself. So there are some beautiful species. Uh, we used to have one of these actually, uh, Augustephalus as Endemi, they are beautiful. Oratum. And it is a good mix, that's an awesome card. A good mix of uh, old worlds and new worlds in here too. Diamantinense is another beautiful spider. Hetris card Immaculata, again that's another one of our images. That's the female that we had the egg sac from not long ago. And it's a good way to find new species as well. Um, and there's some great information, like it tells you the location of the spider, where they can be found, the habitat. Um, so like this one, for instance, the uh, Amathimus violiceps. It's uh, from uh, Malaysia and Singapore. Um, it's habitat in monsoon forest. So you know from that that they need um, good moist sub substrate. They're used to a lot of rainfall. Again, you've got your moisture level down here. Um, You've got their lifespan, their male's lifespan, the keeper level at five, so you know how easy or hard they are to keep. They, they are great little cards, how, how um, large they can grow is up here, whether they're old world or new world. So there is some great information on these. Stromata palma calciatum, uh, that's another one of our images as well from the female that you were listening in our breeding video. That one's our image, and this one's another image from uh, Andrew Smith. It's pretty cool to share a card with Andrew Smith. There's some great information, there's some great new species in there. Um, these obviously add to the other collection. So there are two different packs that you can now purchase. So that's a lot of cards. It's a good way to discover new species and see what you want to add to your collection next. So a massive shout out to Danny for those keeper cards. Um, the work that must have gone in is tremendous. Obviously that's a lot of species that you need to be doing your research for, a lot of species that you need to be getting multiple images for, putting them all together, the design work, finding it, making sure the information is correct. So you've done a great job, dude. They are awesome. Uh, I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna have a proper look through that pack now as well and get all of my cards sorted into the folder. As mentioned at the start of the video, I have got some huge shout outs to give and also a thank you as well. So I want to begin by thanking Christine from Spider Mom 1978. Christine has sent me a really, really kind note and also some of her channel stickers as well. So Christine will be going up on the alternative invert shelving and go check out her channel. 
that's Spider Mom 1978 and check them out see what you think make sure you hit that subscribe button for them and show some love and on the note it says Kieran I hope you like these stickers um, thanks for being such an inspiration and Jason says hey hey Jason how you doing dude and thank you for the lovely note it's much much appreciated these stickers you know what we will put you on there now Next, I want to give a huge, huge shout out to a load of new members. I've been pretty useless with remembering to shout out our new members. It's not all my fault. It partially my fault. It's not all my fault as YouTube doesn't notify you that you have a new member unless they sign up to your membership program during a premiere, like probably now, or during a live stream where it pops up in the chat that someone signed up as a member. For some reason, YouTube's a little bit and it doesn't tell you whether you've had someone join, cancel, upgrade their membership at all. So unless you're going in constantly and checking, you don't know, which is a nightmare. These are all the members that have signed up in the last month. Everybody before that, you've had your shout outs, you've got enough love. This is for you new members from over the last month. We have huge shout out to Shane's Tees, uh, Reese, sorry Reese, that's what your just your name, Reese. Uh, HB Eight Ts, John, Scott's Animal Adventures, Tarantula Zone, Lee's Creature Features, Kathy Arnold, and James Ernst. Thank you guys for signing up to our membership program. It is much appreciated. If you guys have any social media platforms yourself. Uh, make sure you send them to me and I can give you a shout out on those. I know that James Ernst actually does. So please make sure you go check him out guys and show some love. His Instagram name is Valhalla.inverts. Everybody else, please send me uh, your information. If you are on Instagram, if you're on YouTube and I don't follow you already, please let me know so I can check you guys out and see what content or pictures you're uploading as well. Because uh, I like to have a bit of a nose. <laughs> Uh, but again, it is much, much appreciated that you guys have all signed up over the last month. I can't believe the support that we're getting. Um, it's crazy, crazy love. We're nearly at 3,000 subscriber mark now. It seems not too long ago. When was it? 2,000? I think when lockdown started, we were only on about four or 500. So to get to this point, uh, it's crazy. It, it really is. One last thing as well for you members. I did put a members only post on my community tab. If you are on the Arboreal or the Fasorial package, you are eligible for a members only t-shirt design after six months of your subscription. Now, for some members, that time is nigh. You are pretty much at your six month subscription mark, so huge shout out to you guys, which means you're eligible for your t-shirts. Anybody on those two tiers, Arboreal or Fasorial, Please send me your t-shirt sizes. I want to be getting these ordered in bulk. So even if you've only signed up a month ago, a week ago, a day ago, uh, but you're on over the Arboreal or the Fasorial package, please send me your t-shirt sizes via alternative.inverts at gmail.com or you can comment on the YouTube community post that I did release for you members also. And I can get those t-shirts ordered it is a one-off design. Nobody else will have these alternative inverts t-shirts, just you members. So, so the Keeper Cards link will be down in the description. Make sure you go check out that and get yourself some Keeper Cards today. Boosh! I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, give it that thumbs up. If not, give it a thumbs down. Please remember to smash that like button down below and drop us a comment. That helps YouTube push our video so we get more of you viewers coming to watch us and you guys get to mingle with more people in the live chat down below. Hello. Until next time guys, stay safe, look after yourselves. We'll catch you again soon. The next one is a banger. Peace.